All right, hi guys. Oh, hello. Danielle here, you're watching the Theme Queen channel, and today I have my bestie, and we are doing hello. the first ever installment of Bestie BS. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so this is Nicole, uh, our hands. We can kind of like, hi. Um, we tried to do a dual <laughs> camera setup, and uh, my computer said, well, no. The laptop was not happening. So, yep, uh, so instead we're just doing the one camera, and it's just gonna be watching me work on Nicole's nails. Uh, now, Nicole is super awesome and lets me practice on her nails because I would like to someday be a nail tech. Uh, so she's she's my super bestie and just lets me kind of play. Uh, today's theme for Bestie BS, we are going to talk about Disneyland and Disney trips, Disney World, because uh, I'm a little bit of a Disney nut, but Nicole is a Disney nut, okay? Yeah. She's obsessed. She yeah, loves it. True. It's amazing, and I'm not upset. So <laughs> well, that's good because I'm not changing for anyone. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be kind of noisy a little bit while we file. So maybe we will just kind of. We can still chat. I feel yeah, like we can, we can chat and we'll see how it goes. And if we need to trim sound off, that's fine. It's not going to um, need dust so, in the coffee, <laughs> right? though. Uh, these are some special coffees. Normally Ooh. we do make a little bit of coffee, but. Um, Nicole's is Disney themed. This obviously. coffee is actually Joffrey's coffee, which for all of you Disney parks nuts will know that Joffrey's supplies all the coffees for all the parks. Um, so this is actually the Mickey's Brew from the 90th anniversary, 90th everyone mm. of Mickey, and so we're actually like it's a bit, a bit of Disney themed everything. <laughs> um, you can't see it, but Nikki's also wearing her Disney World sweater because mm -hmm. they went in August. August, yeah. Uh, just this past August of 2021, yeah. so that was a blast. First um, ever time. Yeah, to I Disney have not, World. I've not ever been to Disney World. I've only been to Disneyland. <sighs> I'll tell you, it's a thing. Uh, so we just kind of thought that while I worked on her nails today, you guys can watch what I'm doing a little bit and you can also get some fun tips and tricks because Nicole, like I said, is a little bit obsessed and has been every six months or so for a handful of years now. Yeah. And she makes that a personal goal to be yeah. in a Disney park at least once every six months. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to maybe pick her brain a little bit. And we actually have been kind of Googling what other people <gasps> have suggested for like their tips and tricks for Disney trips. So we're going to mm -hmm. read some of those mm -hmm. and just kind of see what we think of them personally mm -hmm. uh, based on Nicole's mass amount of Disney experience. <laughs> So, I mean, for an Oregonian, let's talk right. about it. For someone who's not like a season pass holder living right. in LA. Ugh, right. I wish. I know, huh? Ugh, it's like my life goal to be an AP holder. Just going to go to Disney this weekend. It's not Actually, it's hard to do that these days. I mean. It is. Well, let's talk about it, right? Like, you have to actually currently, in, in the current climate of the world. <laughs> yeah. You can't just like, I'm going to Disneyland today. You actually have to like pull out your app. And you have to check and see if there's reservations available because the parks are still on limited capacity. Yeah. So there's only so much of a reservations like available for each park. Sometimes you can get lucky and like pull one up. I watch, um, I actually have like my favorite YouTube vloggers that go to Disney as a job. It's amazing. One, one being Fresh Baked Disney. I don't know if you folks have ever heard of them. They're pretty amazing though. Um, I've been watching him for a number of years. We'll put and, some links in the comments. Yeah, 100%. Sorry, in the, uh, in the description. I don't, think, I don't think that David would be mad about shooting people over to his page. Um, anyway, they he actually does a lot of really great videos that show like, oh, because now they have like Genie Plus and Lightning Lane available, which I are completely the different fast pass systems than they've ever had before. Like singular you can buy one fast pass for a ride that's like pretty cool it's, well i mean yeah as long as you don't want to ride all the rides very soon because that's then it gets fair, expensive yeah. anyhow we, oh, we digress he does a lot of great videos about like oh you know do all the dca rides in a day without genie plus and he'll walk you through like the best times of day to do which rides Ooh, and, like, like which that. ones to hit at rope drop which ones can wait till later so, I learn a lot from them, and then I troubleshoot it myself when I go, because okay. they're local, and I'm not. That so, I have different sense. goals than they do, right? So right, they can go it. next week and see something else that they right. missed, whereas you're waiting right. six months or more, yeah. And, you know, someone else, you know, we all have different favorites, 
right? Mine's pirates. Like, like if I don't get to ride Splash Mountain, this happened one time in my life. Oh, I went and Splash Mountain. I don't because glitter's everywhere. Just so you guys know, um, all we're doing is filing. Yeah, um, she's already got glitter on and her. I, and we're not <laughs> types not even in my nails from the last. Set glitter, guys, I'm telling you, it gets everywhere. I tell you, I'm all. I tell you, girl. I'm telling you, I'm telling. We're the same person, apparently. Anyway, <laughs> if I don't, there's one time in my life that I went to a Disney park to Disneyland and didn't get to ride Splash Mountain. It was closed for refurb, which happens once a year, it right? Happens. It was dry though, and it made me sad. Like I was looking at Splash Mountain's grave or something. Arvin's like, crying for you. <gasps> Arvin, uh, so we're going to introduce Arvin, <laughs> you guys. Uh, I have a heater that is probably older than me. Uh, it's probably as old as my house. My house was built in the 70s. A billion years old. Uh, so <laughs> it's this little old space heater that we plug in down here because we're in my basement and right. it's cold. <laughs> it is. So um, Arvin, uh, a f another gal, Allie, uh, who will be on camera, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Allie was here getting her nails done once, and the heater had a lot to say, so you guys will hear him <laughs> often. He says, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she's He's like red. a muppet. He is. <laughs> he sounds like the Swedish chef. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he does sound like the Swedish chef. <laughs> um, <gasps> and Allie read that Arvin had a lot to say, and I'm like, Arvin? She says, yeah, it's his name. It says it on the front. And then that was the time that Arvin said, rah, 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 rah. He's, like, he's like, oh my gosh. And so finally um, recognized. Yep. I, I'm like, you spoke his name and called him forth. <laughs> so now Arvin is a part of everything we do <laughs> down in the, uh, the theme queen salon. <laughs> uh, so, he's like so, our mascot. He is. Arvin's <gasps> our little theme mascot. I love it. So um, I laugh loudly at everyone. <laughs> 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 this is what I love about Nicole, guys. Nicole is unabashedly herself. Oh, uh, 100. One of the many things that I love about Nicole, let's be real. Yeah, because we've been friends for, are we ready to tell them? Uh, 31 yeah. years. 31 years. We met we've when been we friends. were five years old in kindergarten. <laughs> So that's why we call this the bestie BS because yeah. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick a topic and then we're going to talk about my heater instead. So right. um, <laughs> I was just thinking that I'm like, this has nothing to do with Disney. No, nope, we've gotten all. lost. Oops. Arvin is apparently a Disney fan though, because he was commiserating yeah. with you um, on your sad Splash Mountain sad lacking Splash Mountain. experience. It was very sad. I had yeah. to leave the area. I was like, okay, well, you guys wait to meet Pooh. <laughs> just can't even be I'm going to go get a lobster roll. <laughs> and a fast pass to Big Thunder because at the time fast passes were still still a thing. very real. Yeah, the paper ones. You would scan your ticket and it would spit out a paper fast pass. Yeah. Let's okay. Date, let's date myself here. Okay. Um. So total tangent. Yeah. Your favorite lobster roll? Is there like multiple places you can get them, and is there a best one? Well, so I only eat lobster rolls at one place. Okay. And it is at, there's like a tiny little shack next to the Rivers of America. Okay. So if you're walking away from Splash Mountain, oh my gosh, I'm the worst Disneyland fan ever. I, the name is totally left my brain. And we'll I know it. it. Like Google I go it. every can time. Google it? I can't Google it. I actually could just open the app. I, yes, I year round have the Disneyland app on my telephone. That's she just wants right. to know how I long the lines still, are just in case. I also still have the Disney <laughs> World app on here because... <laughs> You no, you know. okay? You jest right now, right? You're like, oh, no, oh I'm she totally just serious, wants to know guys. the lines. I'm not okay. joking. She just I wants to know. I was sitting <laughs> in my bedroom this weekend because I'm going to Disneyland in 92 days. Yay! Uh, for my birthday slash my nephew's birthday slash his graduation trip. Oh my goodness! I can't believe and he's 18. I know he's gonna be 18. So anyway, we're going uh, in April slash May, and um. I was, I'm like researching, is it worth it to get Genie Plus? Like, how is this working as a pair, as compared to like the FastPass system or FastPass right. Plus when it is was it worth there? It? And I was watching, I'm doing research, like it's a history class or something. Like I'm, I'm like also, you're going to write a report. Yeah, I'm also a college <laughs> student, but I was spending my time doing this instead of homework, <laughs> right? Like legitimately a college student, not doing homework. So I'm like watching, you know, fresh bake videos because that's where my main research comes from. But I always also had the app open and was like, okay, so we're going to be there on a Saturday at this time. And what are we looking at for ride times right now? Because right? it's kind of a peak season-ish. So you can kind of compare the, right? the Saturday now to a Saturday. So yeah, I 100% yeah. open the apps. <laughs> Look at ride times. You just, I'm yeah. serious. I do it. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. Hold on. I only so we're looking for a hand. lobster roll. Yeah, my lobster rolls come from the same place every time. 
See, this is why I ask, guys, because yeah. I bet there's more than one place that serves them, but she only gets a lobster roll in the one place. In the one place. So, um, let me switch over to dining here. Because that's, I don't know if you guys have ever touched the app at all. There's you can like, show a little. Yeah, yeah. So this is the Disneyland app, and it's actually got like an interactive map. But if you use this little drop down, you can change what you're viewing on the map. So attractions, dining, entertainment, restrooms. And you can just search for stuff like that. It's super fun. Love that there's a restrooms tab. The, yeah, totally. I mean, I have it all yes, memorized. Please. Like it's ingrained right in my brain where the restrooms <laughs> are. Regardless. Um, I love this stand is called Churros Near Haunted Mansion. That's it. <laughs> I mean, let's be and real. And if, if you're familiar with Disneyland, you know which churro stand I'm talking about. Yep. It never moves. It's always See, in the same that's place. That's why I ask, because yeah. I only get churros at that Because stand. they're the best that's ones. It. Those are my favorites. Yeah. And I'm sure that they're all the 100. same recipe, mm -hmm. but the fact that that's probably just the first time I ever had a churro mm -hmm. was <laughs> at that stand. That's where I have to go. Okay. It's Harbor Galley. Harbor Galley. Okay. It's Harbor Galley. And it's cute. It's like, it's literally like right outside of Splash Mountain on the Rivers of America. And it looks like a little shack, like fishing shack mm -hmm. on the side of Rivers of America. And there's a lobster roll there that is quite delightful. Sounds nice. It's just super yummy. You wouldn't think that it would be there, but it is. What is happening with my room here? It's like <laughs> spinning traveling. itself all over the <laughs> everywhere. Um, it's so good though. That's awesome. And yeah, I'll just stop there and get one real quick. Sometimes I'll just take a friend with me on an adventure and be like, let's go split a lobster roll and not tell anyone about it. <laughs> I just need a little lobster in my life. It's great. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have them. I haven't looked at them in other places. No. You're like, no, no I'm good. I know, I'm I know sure where I'm going. I'm sure they could have them at, like, Cafe Orleans or something like that. But when I go to Cafe Orleans, I'm going for, like, like the Monte your... Cristo. Yeah. And a mint julep in the palm frites. Yeah, you're not going to go to Cafe yeah. Orleans is like a reservation restaurant. You're right. not going to get a lobster roll. Yeah, you're going to sit down and get something nice. Right. Well, either that or just something really yummy that's right. not great for you. Because let's face it, a deep fried sandwich, not, not the healthiest choice. No. Right? No. Are there a lot of healthy eating options in Disney? Yeah, more now than ever, actually. That's really cool. Like, pretty much everywhere you go has some sort of salad or wrap or nice. something flatbread that's lower carb, higher everything else. Do they have any, like, special menu stuff that you've noticed? Gluten-free options? Yeah, totally. Nice. So what's really cool about technology, right? Is it used to have to kind of line up outside of stands and look at the, and then Their ask little questions. marquee menus. Yeah, yeah. What's super great is that you have the app and not only do you have the app, but you have the menus for the dining spots and it'll say like gluten free menu. Like it actually okay. has a space for it typically. That's awesome. And then pretty much every dining spot in the parks has mobile ordering. Ooh, so if you don't want to sit in the line or if you're in line in a ride and you know, you're going to be done in, Oh, let's say like 15, 20 minutes. You can mobile order your food and let them know I'm going to be here at this time. And then your order can be ready. So you just walk up to the mobile order oh, space. That's awesome. In During COVID, honestly, especially at Disney World, a lot of the kind of casual, the more casual non-sit-down restaurants, like, for instance, the what used to be Village House, but is now the Red Rose um, Tavern in okay. in Disneyland. It used to be the Pinocchio, but now it's Beauty and the Beast, essentially, okay. in Fantasyland. That used to be a just kind of like walk up, walk in restaurant. Nice. Um, things like that, because of COVID, turned into like mobile order only. Yeah. So you would place your mobile order and they would be like, hey, your order is ready. And then you go up to the door, you show them your app and they're like, okay, come on in. Nice. So they were limiting crowds, making sure everybody was like safe and distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's smart. So they could kind of like control the traffic and the crowds and all of that. I think a lot of that kind of stuff will probably stay in effect for a long time as well. Those are all things that they can just keep utilizing because why would you not? Like yeah. just because if, you know, COVID restrictions end doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to be like, I'm going to be out of this ride in 15 minutes and I want a money crystal. Yeah. Like, and the, honestly, you know? mobile ordering had started pre-COVID as well. That's like awesome. they had launched it. It wasn't everywhere. It was just like, oh, two or three restaurants in the park. You can mobile order. Okay. Um, I remember the last time we went before all the shutdown stuff, um, the little Dole Whip cart outside of the Tiki Room had started mobile order. And Ooh. I was like, babe, look. And I was yes, all, boop, I just ordered our Dole Whips. Because if you've ever been to Disneyland, the Dole Whip. you know that that, well, the Dole Whip, obviously, <clears throat> or the Dole Whip float, whatever floats mm -hmm. your boat. 
you know that that stand has two sides to it at the tiki room yeah. and the inside side never had a line but the outside side always had it's fine i didn't feel anything she thought she nicked me anyway the outside line is always like nine miles long and no one yeah. ever wants to wait in that line so when i saw mobile ordering i was like huh, i'm gonna pass all these jokers up yeah so I'm pick up my Dole up at the mobile order window. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. now they won't let you. It, I think my favorite thing about the tea room was getting a Dole Whip and taking it in there and eating it. And Just you can't do that anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, that's such a bummer. I hope someday. Yeah. That's like nostalgic Disneyland for me. We used to, my dad would be like, because we were, <clears throat> listen, as a child to go to Disneyland, my parents were saving for like, Arvin. Really? Yeah. He's very excited He's about the Disney About family. my Dole Whip. Yeah. Yeah. So, my parents would save for like two, we would go every two years, but they would save for like that entire two years because there were five of us, and yeah. we would drive in a non-air-conditioned Chevy Cavalier station wagon. It was fancy, um, but we would drive down there like all in one shot, all twelve hours, all at once, oh, man. driving down there, and it was like we were literally like, okay, we're leaving on Friday, we're spending Saturday in the park, we're coming home Sunday. We can do this, all right, folks. 12 hours. A 12-hour drive for one day in Disneyland to come back. That's how much my dad loved it. <clears throat> However, they would save for that whole two years because there was five of us and it was expensive. And we ate two things in the park. It would be one dinner, one meal, and a, and a Dole Whip. Yep. And we used to get our Dole Whip and sit in the tiki room. And it's like, so that being nostalgic is then kind of being gone. It's just another, another reason to dislike yeah. it who shall not be named <laughs> any longer. I implore you, Daniel. What's what's your favorite thing about the Disneyland? Ooh, can you pick one thing? Favorite thing about no? Um, you I'm can't? really really bad at favorites. Um, what? Just in general, I'm really bad at picking favorites. I can pick favorite, <clears throat> like if you give me more specifics. Like I know my favorite ride is Pirates. Um, okay. I could not tell you my favorite food in Disneyland. I like too many things. Um, I really enjoy the sourdough bread bowls at the tiny little place. Uh, Fisherman's Wharf. In, in like, DCA? No, it's like in somewhere near New Orleans Square. Um, and Are you it's sure just it's this, not Cafe Orleans? It's a tiny little hole in the wall, and just like on, on, on a corner. And then there's a shop where I bought my pirate medallion. Oh. And it's just a little, they serve like clam chowder and a bread bowl. Yeah. And it's just right there next to the, um, it's between that shop and like in a little alley. <laughs> like, um, and I, I love their bread bowls. They're really good. Uh, it is just, yeah, California sourdough. So which, I have to tell you yeah. that might be gone. Oh my gosh. I'm not so positive. sad. No, 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 not completely gone. Moved. I should say. Oh, okay. Because they actually, <laughs> I was like, no, so Let guys, I, for you. um, just preface here. I have not been to the parks since, uh, it's been six years. So that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, it's not French Market, is it? Mm. No. So it would be, it would be right here. No, that's the Blue Bayou. So it's, okay. Royal Street Veranda? Yeah, it's the Royal Street Veranda. It's still there. Yeah, But the yay. picture okay. of the Red Bull is there. Yep. So, I said, well, I only said that it might be gone because... Everything in, moved. Well, not, well, in DCA, there's actually a restaurant on the Fisherman's Wharf. Ooh. That, like, over by the pier, that is, that they, it's actually, like, they take you on a tour through the factory where they bake the sourdough That's fresh so cool. and then they do sourdough bread bowls with like three different kinds of soup usually okay so you guys uh, i'm from san francisco <laughs> so san francisco sourdough is like near and dear to my heart and uh the fact that they have sourdough there just makes me really really happy yeah so you can actually walk through and watch them making the sourdough because they make it fresh at the place that is and so then they cool. give samples to that they may have started the samples back up again Please. What's what's up, bud? Uh, Are you looking at the lifty piece? Yes. Uh, your little you chipped have to corner it. here. I am you might have to form it. Um your little chipped corner here it's, it's it chips. lifted quite a bit. I but, know. I can um, feel it. It's, it's the only one that had an issue. Three, yeah, it's been three weeks. So mm -hmm. um you we guys. had some COVID scares. We, we did. normally only go two weeks. Ugh. So uh but these held up God really well. It. Very nice. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Um, Nikki is a I'm proud short of you. nail. <laughs> Thank you. Not anymore. Yeah, Nikki's normally a short nail kind of girl, but um, having them on for this long and the fact that they stayed on and she hasn't been struggling, She's we're thinking we're gonna me. keep a little bit of length. So I'm, I'm really excited. You're gonna have to form. Um, you're gonna have to form this fun. Then I think. I think it's 
I think we're like losing our. Are we losing our angle here? Oh no. So you guys would laugh really hard. Uh, I have some a, a pretty funny setup going here. It's honestly kind of just mine. You don't need to know. It involves a yeah. rubber band and a thing of glitter. It's yeah. fine. Rubber bands and glitter. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, the bread bowls. Yes. We were. We were talking about sourdough bread bowls. Oh, yeah, um, because I asked what your favorite thing about Disneyland, about Disneyland is. Yeah, and I really don't think that I could pick a favorite There's thing. There's not, like, a... Um, like. So when people are like, what's your favorite thing about Disneyland? Immediately, I'm like, the entryway tunnels. Hmm. Because it's so great. Like, you have all of these noise outside. Like, the excitement of the people coming in the gates and, like, the people taking their pictures in front of the Mickey head out front. But then you walk into that tunnel and it's like silent almost. It's like oh, just yeah. the voice of the people. And then you walk out into town square and it's Disney sounds and smells. And those tunnels are like the gateway to magic. They are. I'm such a child about it. No, like I, I will it. tear. I'm honestly, I haven't been back to Disneyland since COVID shut down. Yeah. And we actually had to cancel a trip. We had a trip like schedule. We had like flights purchased, like we yeah. had we had a trip scheduled for our son's tenth birthday. Yeah, yeah, his tenth birthday. Like we were gonna be there for his birthday, and then COVID hit in March, and we were supposed to go in June, and we had to cancel. So I haven't been back since yeah, it reopened. I will tell you, I had a dream the other night. I had a dream the other night in which I like walked into Disney and I'm, like welled up with tears, <laughs> and then Kaya made fun of me. A <laughs> winner. Kaya, for just a bit of background, is my sister's fiance. Yes. We love him, and he likes to poke at us. Just a little, yeah. He's definitely um, a pot stirrer. Okay, so let's pull up some of these tips. I think we've, like, Ooh, yes, kind of let's. chatted out our favorite stuff a little bit. Okay, so so tip number one on, 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 on a blog that shall remain un unnamed at the moment, because I don't know if they want me to promote on a different anyway. That's fair. Buy your tickets in advance. Right, so you have to do this. Mm -hmm. I now, mean, I guess yeah. you don't have to. You can certainly walk up to a kiosk and purchase tickets, for sure. That said, because of the scheduling system and reservations, like, you shouldn't do that. Because you can walk up with your gaggle and buy the tickets, but then if you don't have a reservation, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you have a year to use the ticket, so if you really want to do that, I suppose you can chance it for an adventure. I don't recommend it, though. <laughs> so definitely buy your tickets in advance. Now, there are benefits to this as well. If you're a member of, you know, a company that uses ADP and Life Mart, you can actually get discounted tickets through your employer. Nice. Um, you know, it's easy to just, you can purchase tickets directly from the Disneyland or Disney World apps. Again, this goes for both parks. Disney World is still reservation as well. Okay. So you want to make sure that whichever coast you're going on. And I mean, if you get overseas, Paris is like, sheesh, they're still really struggling to fully open up, honestly. Paris like they keep in general, yeah. Well, like Disneyland Paris yeah. over there is like struggling. They'll open stuff up and then they'll shut it back down. Like, Jeez. they're yeah, they're like struggling a bit. And so, yeah, everyone's still on reservation. So you certainly want to buy your tickets in advance. Um... And as soon as you buy your tickets, as long as you're within um, 90 days of your, or 120 days of your trip, you can make your park reservations at Disneyland. Yes. Now, for Disney World, we were, we were able to actually make them six months in advance. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so we did, we bought our tickets like six months in advance and made our reservations because we were going in summer and we wanted to make sure it wasn't crazy. Not super crowded, busy, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So the next tip is also dealing with that. So secure your Disneyland oh. reservation in advance. Yeah, Shh. don't <laughs> sing the lyrics. You could get. In I trouble. can say oh. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we have um piano Disney music on right like, now um, because we don't want to get copyright and yeah. it, it, it's issues. We don't want to get copyright so, blocked. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's funny, I'll be watching Fresh Baked, and they're, like, walking through the park, and then, like, lyric songs will come on, and David will be like, and I need to do this over the music, because, like, Nobody because he's, like, because he'll live stream yeah. from the park sometimes, and you can't really control what's happening no. when you're live streaming, so he'll, funny. like, talk over it real loud, and it cracks me, I love them, they're hilarious, um, yeah, anyway, that was Secure Disneyland Reservation Advance, I kind of covered that already, yeah, save on hotels by booking in advance, also, Listen. kind of just how a do we life feel about tip. this tip? Yeah. <laughs> just a life tip. Because I feel like in general, it's a little anywhere you're going, Disney, <laughs> the Coast, Tahoe, 
maybe just look at least a couple weeks in advance. If you're going to Disneyland, maybe like a couple months, maybe like a couple years. Listen, like, I feel like you shouldn't crapshoot this kind of thing. No. Like, let's just fly out and hope something's available. Yeah, really. Let's just walk around <laughs> and see if anybody's got a vacancy sign. No. I mean, you could technically stay in LA. You're going to pay like three times more, though. It's like really okay. expensive. And it's far away, right? Yeah, it's like you don't want to drive every day. 40 something or other miles. And in LA traffic, that's a commute. Oh, like, yeah. I flew into LAX once at 5 p.m., which is yeah, ridiculous because yeah. it's rush hour. And then I got myself into a $90 lift ride because it took an hour and 15 minutes to get from Jeez. L.A. to Anaheim. So, yes, please book your... And honestly, there's like a plethora. So you can either go with the Disneyland Resorts, if, if that floats your boat. If you have the money to spend, you get really close to the park. They have some cool, fun rooftop pools and slides and things. Um, if you if you really want to, like, get some cash involved, you can stay in the Grand Californian, which actually has an entrance to the California Adventure from your hotel. Wow. Like, Grizzly River Rapids is right there. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, Grizzly River Rapids. And so that would be fun. Um, that's probably going to run four to six hundred a night for, like, a basic room. Right? So that's expensive. Yeah. That's what you pay to stay there, though. Right. There's also the Good Neighbor Hotels. Have you ever stayed in a Good Neighbor Hotel? I don't think so. So those are the ones that you'll usually see, like, Disneyland ticket kiosks in the lobby. Okay. <laughs> right? They're, like, affiliated with the yeah, park, yeah. but they're not so, Disney. Yeah, the Good Neighbor Hotels will actually be listed on the Disneyland website or oh, the wow, Disney okay. Parks website because they're Disney proximity. World. I keep saying Disneyland. I think, you guys, I love the East Coasters. And now I can actually say, like, yeah, Disney World's right? super fun. Um. Anywhere, like Disney Park related in the States, you have good neighbor hotels. And they'll be listed on the Disney sites, and they'll tell you which ones. And sometimes there's good discounts there. Sometimes not so much. Okay. Um, but in general, in Anaheim especially, because the parks are located, like, right there, it's much different in Florida because the parks are real spread out. Okay. Because there's so much more land. They purchase so much more land out there in oh. Florida that, that it's, like, acres and acres and acres. So you okay. actually take, like, different freeways and things to wow. get to the different parks. It's really That's interesting. That's crazy. Yeah. And, um, so it's different there, but in, but in Anaheim, it's like they have, you have the two parks centralized and there's hotels all around it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's anywhere from, I, I would say, I mean, double digits, at least hotels within, wow, okay. within a one to, half to two mile radius. So you, you're, you yeah. walk, right? I, I don't, by the way, pro tip, if you want to go for a weekend it's totally doable for that to happen for one person in around six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars um to go to the parks for a couple days that's hotel airfare for me like food i don't spend a lot there because i go often so i don't do a ton of like souvenirs any longer that's true souvenirs because... are definitely one of the spendier parts of a trip yeah yeah so you want to plan for that but i walk for my hotel or the parks, I make sure to stay at least within a mile. And so I just walk. It's like maybe a 10, 15 minute walk at the beginning of the day and end of the day. It's not a big deal. And um, yeah, when you're already looking at walking yeah. all day in the park anyway, what's yeah. another few more minutes? And I like to use apps like hotels.com because they'll give you, if you use them frequently, you can get free nights. If you sign That's up, you cool. get special discounts um, and it's free to sign up for an account on hotels. And you can set it to, like, when I search for a hotel in Anaheim, I don't put Anaheim. I put Disneyland Resort. So okay. it actually gives me the ones closest to and works out from there. That's good to know. And then they'll map it for you, too. You can just click on the map there. And the... Well, and that's everybody mm -hmm. here. We're all like, Anaheim means Disney. People in California are like, yeah, no, I just live, like, in Anaheim, California. It's a real place. It's not Disneyland. Like, and But it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you don't live in Anaheim, everybody else is like, yep, Anaheim's Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, well, they have the convention center her too yeah. which is right there in the same area um but let's face it many even the government officials in anaheim don't like to admit it because they fight with disney sometimes but they and they will <laughs> say like we our revenue comes from this like yeah it's yeah. it's a big deal because orange groves right yeah, right it's orange groves and no highway <laughs> when walt bought it it was like yeah, it was not a good. dirt road yeah. and orange groves and that was it. Huh? And they were like, why would you build this here? Fun side fact. Oh, see, now I'm rambling. You've got me started. <laughs> and this is, it's just going to be my voice the whole That's time. Okay. It's terrible. Not fun for people. No, it's fun. I like it. Fun fact. Walt whittled it down to about three locations in the end, right? 
his several in Southern California, but he whittled it down. So one of the locations was across the street from his animation studios, okay. right? Ended up being too small. Okay. He was like, no, no. Because once he started, he was like, yeah, this will be fine. He started drawing out plans. He was like, that won't be no, fine. I need way more it's, space. Yeah, exactly. Because his imagination, let's face it, yeah, he just ran away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then he had two locations. He had the Orange Groves in Anaheim, where Disneyland now sits, um, that was owned by the Dominguez family at the time. Okay. <clears throat> and then there was a spot on the coast. Like, on the coast. Oh. Like, at the beach. I did not know that. And ultimately, it's said that he chose Anaheim for a couple of reasons. One, the weather was more temperate. So mm -hmm. just in general, it was better there than on the coast. The other reason is that he's he's actually kind of like quoted as saying, I don't want to build my theme park on the beach because I don't want people coming in their swimwear. I want it to be classy. Oh, right? So he was okay. like, let's steer clear of that. And if you look at any opening day footage or film, people were or in nice photos. Outfits. Yeah, it was the yeah. 50s, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, so we're having some <laughs> filming fun in which, like, <laughs> the phone just decides, like, this video is long enough. Bye. Yep. We're just going to shut down. So I promise I'll involve Danielle more in the conversation. Mm -hmm. No, you're fine. Is we're my fine. voice starting to get droning? No, I feel like it's no. droning. No, I like it, and it's helping me uh, concentrate Focus. on what I'm doing. <laughs> cool, anyway, so the last thing we were talking about was book your table, table, oh my gosh, book your table service dining in advance. This almost has to happen. Ooh, table service is really hard to get in just a walk-up capacity. You can certainly try, but likely you're not going to hit a cancellation because people book these out m months, yeah, months in advance, I will tell you. Going to Disney World, we had three that we wanted to, like, we got to hit these. Mm -hmm. and one was Be Our Guest, which is, I will tell you, the best Worth experience it. you've ever had. <clears throat> I mean, you're going to... pictures were amazing. A family of four, we spent over $200 for one meal. Worth and time, right? we planned for it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we knew we were going to do this. So we specifically saved money for that. Okay. Um, but, yeah, we... I mean, we went on to book that. Allie and I woke up at 3 o'clock West Coast time because... <laughs> Reservations opened at 6 a.m. Yes, we actually to. called the Disney helpline and they were like, You're gonna want to wake up for this because oh they gosh. go really fast. Wow, and so we did. And, that is fast. And we were able to get a lunch reservation. What happened? You that you that edge is just You're a little funky. Yeah, you yeah. might need a form or a little extra love. We'll do something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then. One of the re the restaurants I wanted to eat at was Sci Fi, the Sci Fi diner, the di yeah. the drive in one I told you about. Yeah. Um, we almost didn't get a reservation to that one. We actually shut down the park. We made a reservation for eight fifteen, which that night Hollywood Studios closed at eight. Oh. So park was like literally the last people in the park. We came oh out gosh. of the restaurant and we were the last people leaving. It was really cool. Actually, <laughs> That'd be so surreal to be walking and then, through like alone. Yeah, Ogus Cantina. We actually had to check every day for weeks to find a cancellation wow. to that one because we woke up early to get a rezzo and they were gone already. Like it was so wow. difficult. So you definitely want to do your, if you want to sit down at a restaurant, one of the more specialized ones, you, you kind of have to do it in advance because people okay. will book and book and book, especially at Disney world. It's okay. a way bigger know. thing. World there. is bigger than it land. Well, world is bigger than land and world is more of a tourist centered park. Whereas Disneyland, you'll find a lot more AP holders. So it's a locals park. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's <clears throat> honestly, I have friends that live in LA before COVID. It was like, yeah, I'm just going to go have lunch at Disney. Anybody want to go? And I'm like, yeah, totally. Cause uh, they're AP me, holders. Take me please. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, because in, you know, Disneyland has that cool thing where you can pay monthly for your annual pass. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're a local resident and you can pay a hundred bucks a month for the premium pass why wouldn't you yeah. you know like real quick i'm doing um this is asp bonder uh, i know it says two but uh, i don't do number one i do my own oh. i just do alcohol instead of you the, never like, do number swipe. one <laughs> i do a That's lot of number weird. one um i drink a lot of water guys um, <laughs> Ooh, but, to the table. <laughs> um so this uh i do my my number one uh is i just do alcohol instead of buying like the swipe and stuff but so I'm painting on some number two bonder and it's by ASP and this does kind of like dehydrates and cleanses the natural nail and it allows the uh, the gel and everything to adhere to the natural nail a little bit better. So just so everybody knows. All right. So back to park oh, food. 
Yeah, park food. I mean, right. that was kind of it. Just uh, yeah, like table that service, is you need to make your reservations do it in advance, yeah. In advance so that it's not a headache later, especially if you want to do character dining because that's back up again. Oh, yeah. The, the old parks are doing character dining, so definitely make a reservation for that. If and that have. is amazing, That's yeah. especially cool for littles. Mm-hmm. I'll tell yeah. you. Princess so breakfast, fun. stuff like yeah. that, yeah. Okay, uh, next I'm going to use my Beatles foundation base gel. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Where are we here? What are oh, you yeah. using? You said you um, I said I am thing. using a Beatles foundation base gel right now. So just doing a nice base coat. And I'm going to bake these individually it's because I, I'm i uh, OCD. <laughs> and I don't like the fact that uh, because gel self-levels um, and fingers are not flat, <laughs> it self-levels and makes itself all uh, flat down to the bottom. So we don't want it to slide, yeah, slide right off the nail and down into the sidewalls. So mm. I just do one at a time. Mm. And they don't need a full bake for each one. They just need until I'm ready to put the other hand in. So I just do my base coat on each finger and then have them go into the light each hand one. Go into one the nail. light. Go into the light. Go into um, the light. Honestly, what I call it is synovaling because <laughs> um, I'll have Nikki just pop her hand out for just one second. Oh. So you guys can see here, um, the lamp that I use says super synovaled nail lamp. Now I'm aware that that actually says super sun UV, UV LED, LED. Yeah. but my sister was the first person who came and let me play with her nails. And she says, uh, what is synovaled? And we laughed hysterically. So we are currently, uh, synovaling Nikki's yeah, nails. <laughs> So I like snoovling. Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> so checking the rides and, mm -hmm. and things that are open or going to be open or closed when you go. You can pop open the app and it's I think it's 60 days in advance. You okay. can see the schedule. That's pretty They're cool. Also, they do give you a little time. Totally. But still, you I just, feel like that is not long enough for me because I'm looking at trips, you know, six months down the road where then I'm like, okay, cool. All my tickets are booked. And now I get to find out a month ahead. Go ahead and switch. That's what happened to me and Splash. Yeah. Okay. But please note, close. this is not foolproof, but it's right. pretty, pretty close to being foolproof. Rides usually shut down the same time every year Ooh, for refurb. that's good to know. Usually. No, I'm not. Do not quote me. It is not always. Uh, and I'm not kinda, a Disney official yeah. human. Yeah. And typically it's the same time of year because they need it once a year and they're not going to go sooner, mm -hmm. usually not going to go later. So okay. if you look, there are actually like trackers that you can look at that'll tell you like, when this is when it closed been. last year and the year before and the year before, and you can that. see a pattern. So you can kind of use those to, to, um, is that all on the app well. or that's not on the app. No, those are third that. parties. So all okay. you have to do is Google Disney parks ride closures. Okay. I'm going to say that because there are several of them and I don't necessarily want to promote all the one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. Or, per, yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely. Okay. Um, I will tell you the one that usually pops up first is the most accurate. I'm okay. I'm going to name them though. Uh, so yeah, you, you can do that and it's it... download the Disneyland app. <laughs> okay. I like have you can this, just have that permanently. I have like this on my phone all the time. <laughs> and not just because I'm like, oh, I'm a freak and I'm obsessed with Disneyland. It's because there's actually like fun things going on in there. So they'll release trivia and like little mini games and stuff. That's cool. And you can just, they'll get, it'll send you an alert through the app that's like, oh, learn about this attraction or, right, or it's what like whenever you. they're doing changes mm -hmm. and stuff, they announce new things. Yeah. So like even. Disney World started like a little before it was a show on Disney Plus about Animal Kingdom. They did like little tiny mini episodes uh -huh. of Animal Kingdom and like the keepers and stuff. That's and cool. they released the little mini episodes through the the Disney apps. Both okay. of them. So let that, I was gonna say, let that guy finish because it he, needs it, so. in twenty seconds. Yeah. You wanted twenty more seconds. I guess Switch it doesn't matter. Go ahead and put it up. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. No, okay. okay. So yes, grab the app because it's fun. In general, but a lot of stuff happens through that, like um, booking, if you're going to book um, a virtual queue for like Rise of the Resistance and Galaxy's Edge, you're going to do that through the app. If you're going to do mobile dining, you're going to do that through the app. You can link your, do you link your tickets to the app and make your park reservations that way? And then you're just scanning on your phone. It's no touch. You don't have to carry your ticket around. Ooh, it's just like all that. in the app. So it's really easy. Definitely get the app. Way back in the line. So I'll just be here then. Yeah. And yeah. plus... I mean, honestly, I feel like for Disneyland Park, we can make it pretty well without fast passes. For California Adventure, some of the more popular things, and they're like Soarin', 
It is crazy. Okay. It gets crazy. Like, you'll be waiting 70 minutes in the middle of wow. the day for Soren Because it's That's just... A long time. Well, it's popular. Yeah. And it's popular here. It's not in Disney World so much. Really? Well, not from what I heard. So, talking to locals while we were walking on to that ride in Epcot, they were like, no, not really. I've never hit a line here. And I'm like, dang, in California, it's like an it's hour wait insane. easy yeah. most of the time. Weird. Yeah. So um, interesting to see those differences as well. Are there others? Mm -hmm. Like, because I think you were telling me there's a lot of rides that are identical. We walked right? on to Small World, which was weird because weird. in California, yeah. it's always, always a wait. At least 10 to 15 minutes, if not, you know, 45 in the middle of the day. Yeah. I don't know why. I can't posit a theory because I'm not that familiar with Disney World. All I can say is maybe it's because it's the original. Interesting. Disney World is a remake of that ride. Okay. The one in Disneyland is the actual attraction that was at the World's Fair. Okay. So, so maybe, yeah, more people yeah. have a, like a different kind of connection to it. In that right, manner. because it's the one that actually... Mm -hmm. It was like the literally the lasty kind of like... It wasn't expected to be as popular as it was, that ride. Okay. Yeah. It was kind of like... They're all like, guess we'll put did it Did you here. know that they had like four attractions at the World's Fair? Everybody thinks it was just two, but no. there were like four. No, I just what watched else did they have? The, Well, there was... Um... Okay, there we go. Are we back? <laughs> we're back. Okay, listen, yeah. I was on a tangent. And anyway, the point was I researched the maps and memorized them so we wouldn't get lost in the Disney parks that I hadn't ever been in. Talk yeah, about spoiling. That's smart. No, it spoiled the surprise for yourself. Oh. <laughs> You're Someone like, no. was like, but then nothing's a surprise. Well, that's fine. I watched ride through videos too. I'm fine. Yeah. See, honestly, I, I do watch ride through videos of some rides, but it's because, <laughs> you know, like if I know I'm not going to be there uh, for a while to ride it or whatever, or uh, because the time that I took Seamus and I absolutely traumatized him. Uh, so huh? I took my son when he was four and it was October. Uh, sorry, I think it was the end of September. And I didn't think about the fact that everything was Halloween. Uh, so we did not get to ride Space Mountain as our first ride. We rode Ghost Mountain as our first ride. Yeah, Ghost Galaxy. Ghost Galaxy, yeah. And Andrew also didn't like that ride, but he was six, absolutely too. Absolutely traumatized, yeah. Um, so we basically, he was scared to get on every single ride for the rest of our Disney trip. That was spectacular. I felt like the worst mom ever. No, <laughs> how could you have known? I couldn't. I had never been on it, and not in, in Halloween season. I just, oh It's really God, just screaming like a big worst. ghost. It's not even fun. Like, I, that's it's one of my not. favorite rides. <laughs> to go on because it's fun it's the dark and it feels I love Space really fast Mountain. that's why but i wanted to go on it first ghost galaxy is not my favorite i yeah. will tell you with like i'm all ugh do we have to ride it yeah it but even my dark. husband was like it's not nearly as fun as you thought it was as you said it would be i'm, all, I'm sorry with ghost I galaxy just wait till we come back you'll love yeah. it he does by the way he loves hey, good. yeah he loves classic space and i guess here we go yeah, make sure your battery pack has enough juice to actually charge your phone up a full charge um yeah, that's it's just helpful. That's a good tip. Um, we took four with us to Disney World. That's smart, but yeah. we also took a two because we had like, t listen, it's humid in Florida, everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like really just humid, a little. especially in August. So we took fans that were actually rechargeable. That what was cool about those fans is if they were fully charged, they could also charge your phone. So we actually technically had like eight that's battery awesome. packs on accident. I didn't know that when I ordered them, but it worked. <laughs> um, know your parking options. This is especially important for the East Coast. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's you. It's not like oh, I'm just gonna unless you stay at like a resort hotel or a really close good neighbor one. Walking is not the total best option at Disney World parks. Okay. You're gonna want to park. Um, we purchased. This is something I did do. I purchased. Allie and I together purchased um, gift cards to pay for the park. We just put all the money okay. we needed. It was twenty five bucks a day. And we went for five days, right? Mm -hmm. So we put our $125 on a gift card, and then we just used it every time we parked. That's smart, yeah. Um, definitely know your parking options. Know how much it's going to cost. Know what to expect. If you really want to go deep into it, know the best time to arrive at said parking place to get a good spot or a spot right. that you don't have to wait in line. At Disneyland, it's a bit more flexible just because there are so many hotels within walking distance. That is what I recommend, unless you have, like, teeny tiny kids that are walking. Anyway, for sure, make sure that you don't have your bag too full. If it's too full and they can't see inside of it with a flashlight, they will make you unpack your bag. Okay. So make sure that you're, like, dispersing things well. Um, oh, the <laughs> degrees story. Yes. 
Okay. Okay, the degrees story. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> we, we're like losing. Are we losing? Okay. okay. Degrees! The degrees story. The degrees story. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Okay. Ready? Okay, so set the scene. 72 degrees, maybe drizzly, right? Mm, okay. Could be a little bit chillier than that. It's like October in okay. Southern California. So yeah, but it it's could be like maybe no, it like was high not 60s. But we're still talking <laughs> right? 68 yeah. and drizzly or whatever. We're from Oregon. Rain nine months out of the year, sometimes mm. 30 degrees outside. When doing so, it's cold, right? We are used to cold. Oh, yeah. As far as the eye can see in line waiting to get into Disneyland, it's ponchos and umbrellas and scarves and hats and gloves. And we're like, what is happening? As we're wearing our t-shirts and jeans. Right. Like, <laughs> like this is doing? prime time weather is right now. No. Right, so we're walking on to every major attraction because all of the locals are like, well, I'm not going to go out in the rain. Yeah. I'm just going to I have an annual pass. I'm staying wait. home, yeah. right? So we're walking on to every major attraction in the park within like the first 90 minutes of the day. Yeah. We had ridden Indy and Space Mountain, Star Tour. Okay. We'd walked on to everything. Kind of everything else. <clears throat> yeah, so we get in line for Thunder again, Big Thunder Mountain. And we're standing there. And I had I had a sweatshirt on. Because I like sweatshirts. Okay. And I was like, I can wear a sweatshirt today. That's pretty exciting. Um, so I'm taking my sweatshirt off and I'm putting it in my bag as it's still drizzling, right? Okay. And there's this precious couple in front of us in line, literally, in, in beanies and scarves and jackets. Like they need and to be I'm sitting like, roasting chestnuts in front of a fire. Right? Yeah. And they're cute. They're like cuddling. Probably <laughs> like, they're at this point, at this point, I'm a mother of two in my 30s. And they're cute and probably in their late teens, early 20s. Cuddling for body warmth. And, like, cuddling. And they're so cute. And I'm taking off my sweatshirt. And this girl turns around and she goes, oh, my gosh, how are you taking off your sweatshirt right now? And I was like, oh, I'm from Southern Oregon. This is prime weather for us. Like, this is like, perfect. This is nice. It's nice and yeah. cool. It's comfortable. Like, we're going to chill today. And she was like, oh, my gosh, it's so cold. And I was like, oh, well, we get, you know, like, it's we have winter there. A real winter, and, yeah. And so, and so her boyfriend turns and he goes, what's, like, the coldest weather you ever remember being? Like, what's the coldest temperature? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I think one time it got down to, like, seven. And he goes, degrees? Oh, my <laughs> God. How did you survive? And I was like, well, we don't, like hang out in it when it's not cold <laughs> we like stay inside with heaters and stuff but it was just so funny like, like it was losing his mind unheard oh of degrees. first degrees no so circles funny. of yeah uh, no, I, like, <laughs> it was so funny it cr i just had to giggle i was like that's really cute that's terrible. that you're completely clueless of Did other temperatures really cold? Like, anywhere i'm all dude it gets negative in chicago oh head gosh. out to illinois in the middle of winter i'm not sure what to tell you like yeah like actual so snow gonna, Do gonna agree. Agree. but it's so funny it's been something ever since like someone will be like oh my gosh it is like 30 and i'm like degrees <laughs> oh my god this has been, oh my god how did you survive <laughs> <laughs> like we had to eat each like, other I legitimately we, had to be like, 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 we oh don't god. hang out on it we have houses it's right? like we're not in <laughs> like chilling out in the woods and stuff. <laughs> i'm not like like we just go oh, at seven i'm gonna go outside flash. and hang out for a bit call cool. It's adorable. I know. It was real cute. It was, it's just fun. That's my, <laughs> my dad comes here from Florida and he's like, it's yeah, cold. yeah, he I was got just here on the freezing. plane and it was like 85 and I got off and it was like 40. I'm like, that's literally half, <laughs> half the temperature. What is wrong with people? Why do you live here? <laughs> it was hot. Wait, were we supposed to bake this as we're marbling? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do oh. a, a white coat first. Um, so since we're talking about it, guys, I'm doing, uh, it's a Joy T white polish. That's Joy T. I think it's like J O Y T I. H19. <laughs> you can see that there. Um, it is, it's, it's a weird, it's like J O Y T I I. So go ahead and bake that of that nature. Uh, so we're going to do some marbling on Nikki's fingers. So that's what I'm using right now. On these ones at least. Uh, that's the, uh. The H19. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a couple of marbled fingers and then a little glitter fade mm. on the rest. No. So. And also other stuff. And also other stuff, yeah. <laughs> um, Don't. There's more to come. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do for the marbling on this one, actually, let me get my black ready sure. so that it's out. Okay. You have like about a minute. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you can do it. I can do this. Or just start it That's, over. Yeah, we're going to have to do each one probably. We're going to do die. sections of videos, P.S., by the way. 
Oh, look, you can see my uh, Disney World. Look at my key. Ooh, yay! And this little, oh, it's cute. We're marbling. Okay, so, yeah, oh, this one I'm going to do. Can we see? Yeah, we can see. We can kind of see, right? Can I, maybe I can see? No, you can swivel. see. It's totally fine. Can We're there. We'll swivel a little. There we go. So, right now I'm doing a second coat of this Joy T white polish, and then I'm going to marble the black directly into it. I'm so interested to see what happens right now. Is this the, is this blooming? What do we, no, nope, we're just it doing bloom? it right. It just does. Oh, oh. So I'm just doing these directly into <gasps> the white. That's really fun to watch it kind of just like do, do its, its thing. thing. Yeah. Huh. We're not the same person. So uh, I don't really like how it's all spread. No, what are we going to do? Of, Adding I white? Can drag the white into it. Even if it doesn't turn out, like, it's still turning out interesting, right? you know? Yeah, it spread way I'm more than I mad. thought it was going to be. Maybe, like, a lighter line would so, work. So, yeah, I it's guess just turning it was too gray, much. I let's think. wipe that off. Yeah, let's try again. Okay, so, good to know. Now we know. We Trial and error. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we just cool, wipe cool, that guy cool, off. Cool, 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 And then we're just going to go... Try again. Okay. More time. Right. And then, yeah, I think that was just too much of the black on that big first guy there, so. Maybe if you, like, instead of a full line, if you, like, wiggle. We're redoing. We okay, redoing. marbling take two. Yes, marbling take two. So we're going to try this take again. This. Marbling we take get, this. Um, Where's the black? There we less go. black this time. So Smaller. just going to do small swipies. And we are just going to kind of. Wiggle okay. that in now there. let's let it do and its business. I was going to say let's just do a Hold couple on. instead of a ton because we don't want it, it was too much of, before. Like, and also we see it spreading too too much. I think we can just bake. We can bake it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go. So let's do like kind of a little bit up here. Oh yeah, this is doing it's much, much better, better for yeah. sure. Okay, so less is more. All right. It's starting to spread pretty big in that middle line. Okay, so let's get this last guy on here. This is fun to watch. It is. It looks yeah, really cool. It so does. neat. You can kind of see it's marbling a little there. A little, a little, okay. a little bit. So it gets a little bit warmer. I think kind of. Yeah. And then maybe if we really quick with a darker black through this to kind of give it that extra definition sure okay. i trust you let's do it like we're experimenting to see what works i feel like yeah. <clears throat> we're gonna need to bake this real soon that middle guy okay so we are doing our second layer of the white on this other middle finger and we're gonna marble you'll see and... if you didn't see previously you'll yeah. see this time so this time we're going to try to keep <clears throat> up with the camera here. I'd do this in less than a minute and 25 seconds. You got this. Okay. You got this. So there's our second coat of yeah, white. Yeah, black now. Now I'm going to get a little bit of black on here. Like cheering, and I am just I'm cheering gonna... for you. You got this. You got this. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's All a nice right, line. a nice thin guy there. It's like a strike of lightning across the neck. Right? Up, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the vein. The split vein. It's like a split vein. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for. You're doing great. Little... You're doing great. You like thirty this guy seconds. A little bit more there. Oh yeah, this is fun. Okay, and then maybe just a teensy guy up here. Yeah, even him out. Give him a, like yeah. a little. Okay, now we just need our little <gasps> bit darker down this it's middle. It's super cool. Oh, that's fun. Wait, what are we? How are we doing? Uh oh, we're ten seconds. I Look! Think, I think he's ready. Can we see it? All right. I'm yeah. trying not to flip y'all off. Okay, we're going to bake. Baked. Oh, finished on this end. We Yay, love. look at that. We love, we love. Okay. All right, so on that one, I'm going to do a top coat so yeah. that he's not uh, funky. Up. Yeah, when uh, when we do the next ones. So just get a nice top coat sticky. on here. They need to be sticky. Yeah, no tacky. <laughs> Nobody I, likes I have tacky. a tendency to put fuzz in things without even moving. And we don't know where it comes from. Yeah, I'm <laughs> magic that way. They disappear. So now we're going to do a different kind of marbling. Uh, it's going to be multi-layer marbling <laughs> using blooming gel. 
Uh, so the blooming gel is this guy right here. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, it's Let me see. Let me see. Mish. Mish. I think it's Mish. Mish. <laughs> it's Russian. No, this is Mish. Uh, does anyone know what that word means? Uh, yeah. If you could let me know. That is it Mish? Is it Mizeshe? Right. Yeah. I don't so. know. Who knows? <laughs> Um, but so I'm going to paint that on as my base coat here. I'm excited to watch this. It's really cool. I've I seen love it watching in the video. I've never seen blooming in per in purpin in per purpose. <laughs> it's getting late. It's freaking me out. <laughs> We're getting a little bit silly, guys. <laughs> Listen, oh my gosh. I, I start work at 5 a.m. So, and I work at home, so I get up at 4.30 in the morning. So gross. And it's right now, it's not that bad, but right now it's 8 o'clock and normally I'd be at home in bed already, like trying to fall asleep by 8.30. <laughs> yeah, with our and camera malfunction. And so I'm starting to get loopy. And then we took a dinner break in yes. between Builder. These are best and, friend uh, days. Yeah. It's like our, our kids hang out. Time. We hang out. We have it's din -din. awesome. Uh, so we took a little dinner break and now we're like full and fat kid happy. And, and finishing and up now. We're a little bit silly so okay <laughs> i have the blooming gel base coat on there okay, now what i'm gonna do off. is let's wipe this guy off because it still has our black on it from the other hand i'm really excited everyone okay we have blooming right. gel, base, blooming gel base so now i'm gonna get just a thin amount of uh this really pretty i guess i should have shown that one uh, cat That's eye. Fine. It's called like Vrenmol cat eye polish. And Which I'm one is it? This one? This one. Wiggle that right on in there. It is. That's Beatles. No, where is it? I think I already. Oh, it's this guy way over here. Oh, oh whoops. My bad. So I'm going to wiggle oh. that right on in there. Here he is. There you go. Here he is. What? What? Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> here he is, guys. There he is. Yeah. On the top. That's for you. That was great. I'm right-handed, you can tell. That was ridiculous. And things are mirrored, and apparently I don't get it. <laughs> right? You're like, I don't know where to go. I have it on so the screen. You can see it's how it's blooming. To it's and bloom. That is and it's so really fun. pretty. And I think what's neat is if you if it's you feel like it's not enough, you can just add. Yep, you just keep going. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just watching and waiting and seeing how this spreads and if it's how we want it to look. And we can add a little more if it's not quite how we want it, or a little less. Maybe throw a little over here on this edge. Yeah, and I think that maybe the top is blooming nicely, but it might need a little... <laughs> All right, um, minute 38 this time. So we've got these nice thin lines painted in here, and as you guys can see, it's they're blooming. blooming. It's beautiful. Let's bake so it. We're Is ready it ready to bake? To bake? Yeah. Okay, next now. And then we're going to paint on the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use this blooming gel we're gonna do the base coat here i feel like backstory is daniel i think is a little excited about what we're doing today because i'm typically a very simple nail gal yes i don't like a, whole... more of like a nude color yeah. yeah or just like you'll see that i just on the rest of my nails after these two it's literally just going to be a glitter faded natural nail in the back because i'm not like a flashy there's my personality is enough. We don't <laughs> no, need to. Flashing. We don't need to blind people with my nails. Plus, I gesture a lot when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I blind people with my nails, and I'm not upset about it. Poking them in the eyes. Yeah, also not upset. About it. <laughs> Just kidding. What? That's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. So he, okay, it's yep. more so we're baked, painted, and now we're right? going to do um, a little bit of black thin lines, and we're going to do just the black. It's not going to have... No blooming. Um, yeah, no blooming or anything underneath it. We want these to be a little more defined and sort of following this uh, sort of like river shape yeah, that we've kind of got like going a on river. here. Um, it's actually kind of cool that some of the light transferred into this, so it's it giving it a really cool. interesting um, like, marbly effect. Look. Yeah, yeah, kind of exactly Whoops. what we were already happy accident for. to everyone. That. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this finished. Me too. Because from the really moment cool. I found these, I was like, oh, I love those with the gold. <laughs> Because it's like they've got things going on, but they're also plain as well. that doesn't make right? sense. There are things going on plainly. <laughs> you know, what else? Words are hard. <laughs> okay, so we want some of this to kind of spread a little. So I'm going to get kind of wiggly. Do we? Yeah. 
I mean, a little. I feel it's like a it's bit kind of solid yeah, toward the end. Kind of maybe like some chunky bits. Chunky. Some chunky bits. Do you have chunky bits? <laughs> it sounds gross, but it I mean it in a good way. I mean it in the best way. <laughs> the good kinda, chunky bits. It kind of sounds gross. <laughs> like, oh man, I rode the Gravitron and there were chunky bits. <laughs> Okay. All right. right. We've done. So we've got our little black river. Now we're going to add some bling. Because Nicole is not complete without a little bit of sparkle. I'm pretty excited. Or a lot of bit of sparkle. <laughs> no. Not upset about a lot. No. Never. Okay. So I'm going to get my gold foil, gold leaf, whatever it's you want to call it. it. Wouldn't that be cool if it was actual gold? Right. <gasps> I'm fancy. <laughs> I have gold leaf on my nails. I'm going to file yeah. it off in two weeks. Right. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's fine. It's just a little gold. It's not a big deal. So now I'm just going to kind of lay this. I think it's still a little bit bigger than I want him to be. You can smash him. Uh, we don't want a bunch of, like, weird extra texture on Are you there, sure though. I don't? Oh, you do, but it won't <laughs> cover right. I play with the texture when it's on. Like, if I have gems, I, like, use them as fidgets. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of press that I mean, because these aren't there. exactly flat. No, they're, they're not. They're pretty... You just can't do it, can you? I struggle. <laughs> Ew, that would drive me crazy, she says. I am over so here do you like, need another oh top coat? Well, no, I'm no. good. I like it. I'm I'm all, had, are you sure? I had Minnie Mouse nails once, and they had polka dots all over them. And, like, I liked the fit, the texture of my wood. They're Let fidgety, put yeah. put an extra one, because she was like, ugh, it drive me crazy. I'm like, no, 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 I like it. Oh, yeah, look at how pretty. Do you want a little more? I, I trust you. Okay. I feel like a couple little... Bits in kind of in these areas nibbly bits? here, just nibbly bits, just wee bits. bits, just just the wee bits, just a wee bit, just a wee bit. All right, so, so there's the, <laughs> the foil on there. So we're gonna top coat over that. Top coat, top coat, right. top coat. And then while that is <gasps> snoovling, Ooh, snoovling, we'll do the snoovling. gold on the other one. Yeah. We're gonna snoovle it. <laughs> Kind of sounds inappropriate. It a little bit does, but it's got to be a good thing, right? Snoodled. Snoodled. It sounds English. Snoodled, yes. Especially because I keep saying it that way. It sounds snoodled. Well, I was like, you got an accent to it. Of course it's going right. to sound a little English. Snoodled. Us yanks over here. Just making fun of every other yeah, language. Sorry. It's only because we uh, envy you guys. Because to us, we don't have an Jelly, accent. So, super uh, but Yeah, everybody else do. sounds amazing to us. Yeah. It's, I mean, I sound like, um, <laughs> we oh, honestly, yeah, to be I'm fair, we, uh, because I'm snorting now. to be fair, we do, uh, make fun of a lot of American accents, I think more than any other. Accent, I wouldn't so. say make fun of, I would say <laughs> we, mimic. Yes. Um, we don't make fun of them. We are super jolly, I actually like I said, love them. them. Yeah. So we do this quite a bit where, you know, Nicole has a great Midwest. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, she's got yeah. A great so I used Midwest. to watch oh, the, God. I used to watch the, uh, the movie, uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous a lot when I was growing <laughs> up because it made my mom laugh. <laughs> and so <laughs> it stuck a little bit. You'll hear some words will just come out and they sound a bit Midwest. Oh my God. Oopsie. Oh my God. Or I'll say like, oh, you're a bonehead and, <laughs> and it will sound like, I'm not from the Midwest. You guys, I was born. Oh, there. Oh, is it? Nope. Nope. Yep. And now it is. <laughs> so uh, just FYI, we were showing, <laughs> we got the gold foil on this guy. Uh, and now I'm going to top coat. Toppy coat. Um, we're talking about how I struggle with my OCD and how the fact that these do not match. <gasps> They're not supposed to. Exactly. And so. she's trying to force them. <laughs> and and they want don't want to comply. Match. And it's making her angry. <laughs> I'm cheering them on. Nikki loves them. And that's what's important. It's true. She has to wear them for two weeks. So I do. Um, that's... <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. Uh, I find that a lot of the time, that is what it comes down to. Like, if it's me doing somebody's nails, it doesn't matter what I think of them. Yeah. <laughs> are you happy with it? I am. Are you? But I always ask her, are you? And she'll be like, are you, though? Like Sometimes she'll be like, these are my favorites I've ever done on you. And yep. sometimes she's like, they're fine. <laughs> I'm like, okay. you're being too hard on yourself. Like, I'm really glad you like them, because that's what's important. Yeah. yeah. We did a set of Snow White ones. Those time. were amazing. They were so them. great. We'll have to, maybe I can throw in a picture. Yeah. Or, yeah. Ooh, link it in the video. Right? Link it in the video. Post it, it in the video. Yeah. Like, do a picture and <laughs> as I can. fly my fingers Whoa! across the, watch out. <laughs> yeah. Put a little it nail there. karate. <laughs> no, it's full hand. It wasn't. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. You were broken. Okay, focus. no, we've got, we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. 
We're almost finished. It's oh my gosh. Okay. Bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that guy's top gun. <laughs> um. Gosh. Like you took it out. Like, That's no. too blue. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're recording. Were we? Oh, apparently we're recording. Okay. Well, um, so uh... I must have just done it when. So I had to use. Don't laugh, guys. Nikki said that we have a fun contraption for our recording right now. We do. It's and, a rubber uh, band. So when and I just glitter. tried to use the glitter that we have tackied to my lamp. Um, I think I hit record, so you guys it's, just got a nice it, little shot there. <laughs> well, not unless you edit it out. Yeah, bro. No, it's it's, it's not live. Gonna, it does. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, because we're going to do a glitter fade, uh, we were going to do, we were going to do this glitter fade, um, but we changed our minds. It's not uh, It doesn't right quite color. match. Yeah, so instead, we're going to go with this gorgeous, loose glitter. Okay, love it, love it. Uh, so I'm going to do a base coat, which I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Base coat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's do all... Welcome to me. Loopy Time with Gosh, Danielle oh and Yeah, this is like bestie sleepy <laughs> time. Oh my yeah, gosh. it's what I call winky. <laughs> it's winky time. My mom always called it rummy. But winky, it's like, like like when you hit one in the morning and you've yeah. been up way too long and you start to giggle at everything. Like somebody says toes and you're like, ah, oh my God, toes! toes. Ew, why did I say toes? Toes are gross. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the <clears throat> base coat on here, and we're going to bake it. We're going to snoovel it. Are we? We are. Uh, because all we want is the tacky layer. We don't actually want to try to work sense. glitter fade. Go ahead and bake those You don't two. want the thumb? No, because then you Oh, yeah, that's right. You side. go in order. Yeah. You um, want it to slide around. Oh, I don't. I don't like the slide. Uh, so then I'm I going like slides. to... <laughs> You know, I have not been on a slide in years. What? Yeah. But I why? I don't know. Next. <laughs> Next. Next. Okay. So I'm going to take this brush, which is nothing fancy. Um, I it's like got a wet it, and like, wild yeah. brush. <laughs> I think I got for it for makeup. a couple bucks at Walmart. Um, if it works, it works. It works. So uh, I just take this and I'm going to dab into my loose glitter. Oh my gosh. It does not have to be crazy though. No. So I'll uh, knock a little extra of that off. But you don't want the, you don't want the base coat to touch the brush though. So I'm just going to go. It'll get sticky, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go right down here at the end. Perfect. I love it. And it's almost going to be a little bit like, like a French, French tip. Tippy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can sort of fade that up into. Maybe we don't need to. No? You want to just. I don't know. Let's see what do... it looks okay. like. <clears throat> I'm open to the idea. Right. Okay. So there is that just as sort of a French tip. And there's going to be a couple that always stray, especially when I top coat, they're going to kind of move around a little bit. But maybe we should fade a skosh. Okay. And see what it. I, I like a glitter fade. I, think I like more... a glitter fade, right? Yeah. I've been doing this glitter fade plain back for two months now. Three months? Long time. But just with different, like they're getting bolder and bolder the colors. Mm -hmm. First it was like champagne. It's almost like blended. Right. With my nail. Yeah, a lot of like. It was so pretty whites. though, that color. Yeah. yeah, we did silver at one point. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Wait, let's see it next too. Ready? Is it the right color? Yeah, I think so. What All do right. you think? I like it. Yeah. It's almost like the lightest of the teal, mm -hmm. accenting nicely. You. Oh, wait. I can't oh. Think yet. <laughs> Mouth trumpet. <laughs> yeah, we we're can't singers. Sing it, we are yeah. singers, bros, and this is not. It's like difficult. I'm having a hard time not singing all the words to all the songs. It's almost even like set up for karaoke. Like it wants us to because they're not <gasps> we singing. We have like, oh my God. karaoke machines Me too. too. We were like that. Funny enough, did not plan it. We both got karaoke machines for Christmas. Uh-oh. Just uh, is it one of those sticking? things. It's a little bit sticky because I'm trying to fade it up in. So it, is, brush it is getting a little bit sticky, but... Uh, all I have to do is stuck all I have to do is stuck wipe off. it with some alcohol and it'll actually come right off. The alcohol. So, the alcohol. <laughs> Don't sing. <laughs> That's not one of the words though. It's still lyrics. Is it though? <laughs> like, I mean, all words are lyrics in some song. Even <laughs> moot is in Jesse's girl. Like Oh yeah. Yeah, the only song in the English language, by the way, to use the word moot, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Um, go ahead and bake those guys for like 10 seconds. Let's just bake to like you, friends. Oh, settle. no, I like. I think. I think it's good. It's good. Almost forgot there. So we're going to keep going here. We're probably going to run out of time before too it's terribly long. True. So I'm just going to keep going. You have going 30 seconds. On, uh, on my glitter fade here. 
my awesome little glitter Somehow catcher I thingy. always find a way to involve glitter. You know, it, it's, glitter is awesome. Glitter I will never sort of not is. glitter, I feel like. I'm not upset. Be like 80 and be like, do my glitter, afraid. Hey, if you, you make still it do that my nails far, when you're yeah, 80? like with glitter, dude, let's do it. Because <laughs> I will also be 80. I know. <laughs> We're just 80 doing video. Okay, so <laughs> uh, we did our glitter fade. Our glitter fade. I know, I'm and boring. yeah, uh, we weren't super we like happy it. with it. So we're trying to figure out what to do differently. We decided on a little more marbling, just because we were already sort of doing Carry through that. the theme, right? Um, so we are now marbling on top of our glitter fade. I mean, we we're staring at it like something's wrong. This is yep. bad. <laughs> Like, we don't like it. We don't hate it. We don't love it. We don't want it to just be fine. Yeah. Took a so, chance. Oh, yeah. And she um, nailed it. She's <laughs> okay. the queen. So, yeah, we're just doing a little bit of, uh, I'm just doing my regular top coat that I use with glitters. And uh, if you don't already do that, by the way, if you do nails, I highly recommend having one specific top coat for your loose glitters. Oh, gosh, holy it cow, gets everywhere. it's everywhere. Um, so, I'm just doing my top coat and then into that top coat, uh, and it's an ASP top coat, uh, into that top coat, I'm just doing a little bit of black polish with my line brush marbling. So just a you little... Like turn toward the camera when yeah, you're doing it? Would that be weird? Just a little um, kind of... Free handy. Zigzaggy marbling, kind of just dragging it, a little bit of breaking it up some, kind of pulling it different places, making sure you really, um, honestly, the more motion you get on these, the better they look. This one's all ink splotchy. It's fun. Okay, friends. It's okay. so fun. It is. It's pretty cool. Um, <gasps> I love that. Okay, so now because uh, we, we did find something that we actually liked, uh, we're adding <laughs> a little bit more, so we couldn't just leave well enough alone. Here um, I am. Now, I don't want to be much. <laughs> So Let's now, add more gold. Wait, I need more. I need more sparkly things. Um, so because we feel like this will draw in um, what we did on that accent nail, we're going to put a little bit more gold leaf on the thumb. Holy cow, if I can pick this stuff up. So, <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is happening in the world today? I think we're getting a minute 56 out of this one. Oops. We're almost to the two minute mark. Wow, this is the silliest crazy. thing. It really is. Um, I think so. My we, We've determined that my phone battery or my phone storage must be it's lacking. It's not happy. Uh, so I think that must be the problem. It's throwing a fit. It's tired. It is. It's late. I'm tired. Like, me too. Stop. Me too. Yeah. Right. Okay. So just a little bit more of this gold leaf on this thumb just because we're extra. It's I know, It's stuck right? on the end of your nail. It's stuck everywhere. It's stuck on my finger. It's stuck on finger. my nail. It's stuck on your finger. My finger. So this gold foil, I'm really kind of just painting down because I know Nikki likes the, the textures, but you can't have oh, it like sticking I know. It'll out peel or off. it. Yeah. It'll just come right off. And um, we really want this to last a couple of weeks in between polishes. So. Do we, though? We do. You uh, want to see me sooner? I, uh, I mean, I love you, but, you know. <laughs> Yay! Okay. It's very fun. All right. So you we just did me. our top coat. Yay. And uh, we're just going to do just a teensy, tiny bit of touch-up. Uh, so I'm going to swipey this guy with some alcohol. Um, when marbling when requires we were... <laughs> heavy top coat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you know, I don't know that it does. I think that might actually be my mistake. So oh. lesson learned. Um, I feel like maybe I didn't need quite so much of the top coat to do the marbling and maybe I should approach it a little bit more like the blooming gel where less is more. Um, so now I know cause we did have a little bit of top coat, uh, slippage. Yeah. Slippage, uh, down into the side walls here just a little. So I am just taking that down just ever so slightly um, with the softer side of my hand file just because I just don't want that funky edge down in your side wall there it feels weird as it grows out so just a tiny bit all right just a tiny bit of filing on that guy and then he's good to go typically you can kind of just come in and clean these up a little bit you just have to be really careful because of your top coat you don't want to go through the top coat because then you don't have a good seal and you can get gunk up in your nail and you don't want that because it's yucky. You get like It's in, yucky. Yeah, it is. You can get like you infections, infections and fungus and, and grossness. Yeah. It is. It's gross. It's yucks. So 
We just kind of avoid that if at all possible. <laughs> That's why I use alcohol for everything. It's because I just want those nice and dry and clean. Tools. Yep. All right, let's see this other fella over here. You don't need to bake him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a habit. Like, you touch them, I bake them. Mm. Hello, hi. Hi, guys. Hi, okay, friends. So we finished our little bit of touch-up that we were doing. Aren't they pretty? So we're just doing some cuticle oil. Yeah. Uh, and we it's thought we would. <laughs> yes, I she love loves it the cuticle so oil. I love it so um, so next time we're, uh, we're kind of debating on a couple of topics for best EBS of what you guys would like to hear about. Yeah. Um, comment. Talk about let a lot of things. Know. Yeah. Give us a comment. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Um, if nothing else, we will come up with our own topic for next yeah. time. We can do that. Yeah. Um, I love how we totally derailed from Disney as soon as we started painting and basically yeah, only well, talked about the painting. So what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so that might just be the case most times once we get to like this it. fun part, like nobody cares when I talk about builder like no one wants to talk about hard builder <laughs> like, but, no but yeah. we get to the decorations we're like look i'm like a mm -hmm. oh, 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 fancy stuff so but we will pick it yeah. i mean we'll find a topic or comment for a topic yeah comment let us know what, what you do you hear. want our best cbs to be about next time <laughs> beep bop boop so once we're finished here uh, there are going to be some uh still, still shots. shots of these gorgeous nails still shot. and uh we'll have some links and stuff in the description we talked fresh about baked. a couple of things yeah fresh baked you need to put um, my snow white nails Definitely a shot. picture of those Snow White nails. Let's They're so fun. Put them in the video. Maybe we'll see. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is gross me. <laughs> the texture. There's I a, can't handle. I'm a texture freak. There's a freak, texture. You, you can feel the the glitter became like bald in one spot, so she had a bit extra, and you can kind of feel it through the top coat. Drives her bonkers. It doesn't bother me though, so I don't let her fix it. No, Nikki's fine with textures. I'm over here. I use here, it as a like, fidget. Like yeah. gagging a little bit. She's a little, it's, <laughs> it's so gross. It's so gross. Okay. Uh, Thank so. you for joining us yeah. on Best EBS. Best EBS number one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love that you guys are both singing. <laughs> I know, it was not planned. I love them. I love them.